Hi, Lily. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today, especially for a film just as outstanding as this one. And I can only imagine what it must have been like for you to come on board a project like this. Oh, thank you. It's amazing. I mean, I love the movie like as much as anyone else. I, I can't wait for everyone to see it and love it as much as we do. Yes, yeah, so I have to ask to begin with, how hard is it to keep a straight face when you're stuck in the middle of that hilarious back and forth between Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal? Just, oh. Yeah, just how hard is it to keep a straight face? It's impossible. It was very difficult. They're so funny. And, and there was a lot that was, it was very encouraged to be using improv in the in the movie. So I was getting caught off guard all the time and I didn't want to ruin the moment, but they were so funny. And Sharon Horgan is like, like the most hilarious person I've ever seen. And she was coming out with like hilarious things all the time. I was kind of having to stand next to her being angry. And meanwhile, kind of like choking on my own laughter. It was, it was very difficult. Yeah, and you mentioned improv then. Of course, it is, I think, pretty common, especially with a comedy like this one, for, for, to have that opportunity. So how did you find that, especially when you are bouncing off quite experienced comedic actors like Sharon? Yeah, I mean, I, I have such a reverence for them. All of these actors in this movie are some of my favorite actors, you know, especially Nick. Nick has been like a hero of mine forever. So I wanted to do them all proud. I, I, I didn't want to be the weak link. I wanted to make everything work. And they were phenomenal to act with. They were really supportive and they really helped me to, to be the best that I could be on set. Um, and as well, Tom Gormican, the director, is fantastic and so good at working with actors and really funny. Everyone behind the scenes is really funny, too. So, you know, they would come up with an improv and, and feed it to you or you would come up with one. And they, they wanted to hear what you had to say and, and to hear your voice. And, and as did the other actors. It was amazing. So I think Nick even improv one of his final lines about the bees and everything. And um, that was amazing. And it, it stayed in the movie. Most of the improv that these actors did stayed in the movie. It's a testament to how funny they are. They're so funny. And it, it, like you said, it's really difficult to, to live up to that. But I really hope that I did them justice. Oh, I would say, obviously, having seen the film, absolutely. And I, I am curious, actually, were, were there any particularly memorable jokes or moments that maybe haven't made the final cut that you're disappointed didn't people aren't going to get to see? Definitely. Nick has this moment in the movie where he's serenading me at my birthday party with this song that he wrote, you know, for me. And he's pissed drunk. And um, he had this actually, it, it lasts, that moment in the movie is only like about a minute, but he had this like seven minute insane song. And he had drawn inspiration from this old clip of Elvis on stage singing and going hip like that, like this really strange noise. And he was doing it constantly in the song. And we were all kind of standing there like aghast at this moment. It was insane. And I was so upset. It was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And they didn't even put that part in the movie. But I hope they put it on some kind of deleted scenes reel or something. Or they can put it on iTunes and I can like listen to it on my phone or something like that. <laughs> Oh, fingers crossed and of course you mentioned being serenaded by Nick Cage you also get to go to therapy with him so a couple of really crazy scenes for you to be involved in I imagine oh yeah I mean it's also really difficult because I really liked him he's such a cool guy and he was so paternal in the best way he has a really you know he is family is everything to him so it really showed when he was talking to me you know as his on-screen daughter I can see how he kind of interacts with his own family and he's so loving and, and really supportive and kind and patient and um, it was really difficult for me to yell at him and be upset with him. That was really hard. But, you know, you got to act through it. And he he obviously, he's amazing. He wants you to do the best performance that you can. So he made it easier. But for me, I kept, you know, we'd get to the end of the scene and I'd be like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry about that. Like, you know, but he's amazing. And it, again, like you said, it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to go to therapy with Nick Cage or sit in the back of a moving car with Nick Cage, you know, even at the very least. So I feel thrilled. I can't believe this is this is my life. I can only imagine. And of course, beyond the jokes, you, you do really get to explore Addie's relationship with her father, including like the anxiety she's feeling and even the way he's overshadowing her. So what was it like for you to be able to delve into that emotional side of the character and get those more serious moments with, with Nick Cage? Yeah, I mean, that's what's so cool about this script is, is it is so, there's so many moving parts. It's so funny and, and the, the, there's these action sequences, but then there's a really like, you know, grounded heart in the movie. And I think that is through the relationships, my relationship with, with Nick and of course, Pedro and Nick's relationship. And um, I think for me as an actor, what was really fun was, was being able to kind of explore, you know, building this character who 
you know, she's playing opposite a real life man. Obviously, this is a, a very heightened version of Nick, but it, it was kind of supposed to feel in some way real. They're supposed to be really related to each other. And it's, you know, there's so many aspects of a movie within a movie. Um, and so for me to kind of try and toe the line between, you know, those those larger than life absurd elements and, and, and the over the top moments, and then also to kind of try and bring it back and really ground it in, in the hurt that I felt, I guess, from, from feeling so unseen by Nick. Um, that, that was really special for me to kind of, to, to just be able to see how far I could go on both ends. Yeah, absolutely. And you do get to see it as well. There's a lot to this film. You also get to see some action near the end of the film. And without getting into any spoilers there, what was that like for you and being able to delve into that side of things on top of the comedy and the emotion? It was so fun. It was amazing. I mean, I was very nervous. I, I wanted to, I wanted to do everyone proud, you know, and I'm not a sporty girl. So I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to like be able to throw and catch or whatever, but everyone was amazing. The cast was fantastic. And they all, Nick is like an action star, you know, he's just like in his real life. He can probably like, he was like on the, on the treadmill, he was working out all the time. He's like very fit. So he was great. And I could just watch him kind of soar on set, you know, and, and it made it a lot easier for me. I bet. And of course, this is such an incredible movie for to begin this stage of your career with. But what was it about this project and Addy in particular that really made you want to obviously join the film? I mean, this is such a unique script. It's so funny. Like I said, there are so many different elements to it. And it's a movie that I would want to see myself. And it's just fun. It's, you know, it's, it's a, a really positive movie and a movie that explores lots of different elements that I think a lot of movies don't. I think at the heart of this movie, there's that male friendship between Pedro and Nick that I don't think many movies really appreciate how important that is um, in our society in general and, and to be able to make something creative together and how that can really draw you together as two people and, and relationships between father and daughter and, and, you know, estranged family and whatever. There were so many different things to explore. It was like, I don't know, it, you, everywhere you look, you can find a different element within this movie, you know, that's that's as interesting as the last. And that, that was something that really came across through the script because the writing is phenomenal. So as I was reading it, I just kind of kept, I was like, oh, oh like that. I, I kept reacting to everything that was happening in the way that I think audiences, I hope will react in the, in the, in the screening. So I, I'm so excited for everyone to see it. I, I can't wait. My initial reaction was so great. I know they're going to love it as well. I couldn't agree more. And I am curious, obviously, with everything that's been going on in the world the past few years with COVID, did you get the opportunity to work with Nick and Sharon much, obviously, before cameras started rolling and before you got on set so you could establish that dynamic between the three of you? Not beforehand. Beforehand, they had actually been filming for a while before, and Nick has been part of this movie for a while. So I kind of joined, um, you know, later on in the process, and they had all been working. But immediately when we got to set we were able to start hanging out and I met up with Sharon and we got to talk through our relationship and her life and my life and you know everything and with Nick he's just fantastic and he he was so great about being on set and helping you kind of build that relationship and it felt very organic you know we were able to talk we had a lot of shared interests in movies and and music or whatever and it was just interesting being able to hear about his life so so yeah Awesome. And of course, Nick's got a history with Marvel and Pedro, of course, in The Mandalorian and Wonder Woman. But I'm curious, now you've had a taste of a little bit of action in this film. Do those blockbuster roles interest you, whether it be Marvel, Star Wars or, or anything like that, really? Of course, I have a really great respect for those movies. I think I think they're fantastic and I, I would love to be part of them. You know, I watch them all. I have the Disney Plus app, so I'm always at home watching it. And um, it would be it would be phenomenal. It would be once in a lifetime. But, you know. Oh, fingers crossed on that front. And I know people who've seen this movie so far, they, they keep saying they desperately want a sequel so we can spend more time with these characters. But if that were to happen, what would you like to really explore in particular with Addy moving forward, do you think? I mean, I, I think the relationship between Addy and Nick is so special. And I love at the, you know, I won't spoil it, but at the end, kind of where they get to that journey, um, it will be so interesting to see. I'd love, you know, for them to go on a road trip together or something like that. You know, they're very funny. And I just want to see more of, of the movie. It would be so exciting if we could get, you know, these characters to kind of go on another journey together. That would be amazing. Oh, well, I really hope so. I cannot wait for people to see the film and particularly can't wait for people to see your performance because it's so fantastic, Lily. So thank you again for taking the time to have a chat. Thank you. This was lovely. Thank you so, so much. Great to speak to you. Have a great day.